This Saturday will be a landmark day for the broadcasting of racing on free-to-air television in Australia. It will see the beginning of an agreement with Channel 7 to broadcast 27 days of racing into homes right around Australia. Through summer, autumn and spring, Group 1 days and feature carnivals, it's all about bringing racing to the regular attention of a whole new audience. We caught up with the CEO of Racing Victoria, Bernard Saundry. Bernard, the agreement with Channel 7, it's very strategic towards promoting racing to a wider audience. It certainly is, Danny. It's a landmark decision uh, by TVN in cooperation with the industry. If you look back when TVN first started, certainly a vision of mine was to have um, free-to-air telecast of thoroughbred racing to take racing to a broader community. And with that broader community, pay TV has been effective but the numbers are quite significant with Channel 7, it's fairly obvious to say. Racing's uh, available on a range of platforms, pay TV, pubs and clubs, but this, uh, this opportunity with Channel 7 in conjunction with New South Wales gives us the opportunity to showcase uh, thoroughbred racing to 90 to 100 per cent of the population. As far as uh, taking that even further back, Racing, particularly in Victoria, has made significant investments into infrastructure to make these things happen. Part of our strategy, Danny, has always been to continue to enhance uh, the production ca capability of thoroughbred racing in Victoria. Three years ago, the industry made a large investment with TVN, more than $12 million on a new digital um, camera technology. And what we see today, as a result of that investment, we see racing uh, displayed and uh, broadcast through not only various platforms but on, within new technology and that's allowed us to introduce things like uh, virtual lines, slow-mo technology, tracking vehicles and uh, the, the best uh, world practice when it comes to digital technology for camera, for, camera, for camera coverage on all racetracks through Victoria. So with the infrastructure through TRP, a lot of what they are doing, a lot of their vision, a lot of their equipment is going to be the catalyst for what we see on Seven. Absolutely. Clearly our vision back three years ago when we made that investment that one day we would achieve, achieve that objective of having a, a high quality um, picture to deliver to free-to-air television. As far as the TVN coverage initially being combined with the Seven coverage, what is it that racing as in a governing body, Racing Victoria, would like to see delivered to be able to bring it to that wider audience? Uh, we want to see the promotion and the development and the, and the wonderful stories that sit behind our jockeys, our trainers, our horses, our breeders. There's thousands of stories to tell um, in, in allowing that, uh, those stories to be told to a broader community. So we'll be looking to promote our great athletes, both equine and human, to a, broader, to a broader industry and broader community group. I think what you'll see is the, the serious punter that engages in thoroughbred racing on a weekly basis will still tune into TVN. Um, I suppose if I was to give a simple analogy, what we'd like to see Channel 7 play a role in is for that once a year punter that might switch in and watch the Caulfield Cup, the Cox Plate and the Melbourne Cup, we'd like them to engage on a more regular basis um, seven or eight times a year through the opportunity of watching free-to-air television. So what we can glean out of all of this is that the partnership with Seven is a partnership to promote racing. It's not a one-way street. It's not a one-way street and it means that it needs a cooperative approach with Channel 7 and the terrific technology and the different platforms they have available to us, integrating with the good work the industry's done in Victoria and New South Wales with the new digital platforms that are now available to us and the new technologies that have been introduced in Victoria there's an objective in New South Wales to deliver a similar platform to what Victoria has and that's just uh, continuous, from my perspective, that's just continuous improvement which, which ultimately benefits uh, our participants and particularly our customers who bet on thoroughbred racing. Fair to say you're looking forward to Saturday. Having a great day, autumn, uh, the Autumn Carnival, the G1 Championship, the Festival of Racing, it's a great time of year to be racing.